this is a surprise as Jets wide receiver Denzel Mims has requested a trade. And one of the teams that could be interested in him is, in fact, the Cowboys. Mims played at Baylor. His agent is from the Dallas-Fort Worth area. But also, if you're Mims, you're saying, yeah, I want to go to Dallas. Because now a lot more people are interested because the Cowboys are there. If the Cowboys are interested, that could be this team is interested, as they weren't probably before. The Cowboys are interested? Okay, we're interested. So, it's just playing the game and figure out how to go where you want to go. The Rams hired Jay Gruden as a consultant. Gruden has been in the NFL for over a year as he was with the Jacksonville Jaguars as the offensive coordinator. I I don't understand why he was the offensive coordinator in Jacksonville. That is probably the reason that's one of the many reasons why they failed as an organization a year ago when during the final year of Doug Malone. And then the disaster that was Urban Meyer. The Patriots released cornerback Malcolm Butler off IR. We still do not know exactly what the injury was of Malcolm Butler, but he's now a free agent. The Ravens left tackle Ronnie Staley got great news as he passed his physical and will be removed off pup. That's great news because he has been out for basically since 2020 from a rehabbing of his ankle injury. Sam Donald was carted off the field with an injury to his ankle. It was announced as an ankle sprain that he's out for four to six weeks. The Seattle Seahawks have announced their starting quarterback is Geno Smith. Geno Smith played for the Jets. He hasn't been a starter really since the Jets, but he played for the Jets. And this basically came down to how bad Drew Locke was. Because you can say the offense is a little more able to go down the field with Drew Locke because he has a much stronger arm than Geno Smith. But Geno Smith is, in fact, the offense runs better with Smith than it does with Locke. Some bad news if you're the New Orleans Saints. As Trevor Penny, your rookie, suffered a turf toe injury and he is out indefinitely. A big loss for them as he was going to be a key fixture to this Saints team. Panthers got even worse news at their kicker position as Zane Gonzalez injures his groin significantly. When you lose a kicker, as he, you lost him last year against Buffalo, that's not a good thing. And now you desperately have to find a kicker who's not just good, but good enough to get you through a season, hopefully, and see what happens with Gonzalez after that. And in our game recap between the Cowboys and Seahawks, it was picks galore, really, is the best way I can put it, as there was four interceptions, five turnovers in all, Locke threw four, Locke threw three of the four, or possibly even all four, where he threw one to... Israel McCormick, who just made a great diving catch for a great play. He threw one directly to Nation Wright. 
Um, there was also one that he threw to Marquise Bell. That was his third that he threw, and that was the one that, you know, that ended it pretty much. For Drew Locke, it's three interceptions, you're not going to get the starting quarterback job. That's just the way it goes. Um, a rookie undrafted free agent, Wanye Thomas, got an interception. And it basically went off the chest of the wide receiver. Thomas was right in the right spot, intercepted the ball. And then a, fa a failed snap that the quarterback ended up like volleying, like almost like volleyball spiking the ball back forward, and Cowboy linebacker Story Jackson, who was another undrafted free agent, got the ball, and that's how the game ended, pretty much. So, all in all, a good game for the defense. Offense did, in fact, have some very positive outlook, as they were explosive on offense. They there were some things that I'd be still some I'd be still concerned about. Jalen Tobert isn't as far along as I would want. Um. But all in all, a good game. The offensive line did not play well. They did not play well. No matter if it was Cooper Rush, Will Greer, or Ben DiNucci, whoever it was, they couldn't. The offensive line couldn't block a wet blanket. It was that bad. It, that's the concerning part. If I'm a cowboy, if if I'm a cowboy, I need to figure out how to build this offensive line the best way I can. So when week one comes against Tampa, we're not as bad off as we could be.